At last year's parade, Danny Halverson proposed to her girlfriend, Stephanie Mack. It was something that had never been done before and I wanted it to be memorable for her and for our community as well too and our family and friends. Family and friends were in full force Saturday, marching to send a message to the city and marching for each other. It means that I can feel free and happy being myself and it's nice to express that with everyone else enjoying that too. 17-year-old Hella Scott came out to her family two years ago. She was accepted with open arms. Don't make the mistake of, uh, of not seeing your child as your child regardless. Keep your brain straight and, and realize that, uh, you know, universal love is universal love. She's our daughter. We, yeah, made, we her. made her. So anything she got, she got from us. And it's a day to stand up for ourselves and say we're here and it's an awesome day. It was a first time for the Regina Police Service marching in uniform. It just seemed like a natural progression that we would be marching in the parade because it's a community just like other communities that we support. Every year, Pride organizers get the same questions. Why isn't there a heterosexual parade? Why a Pride parade to begin with when same-sex marriage is legal in Canada? But they say there are still problems. There's more to, you know, LGBT rights. There's more to life than just, uh, you know, marriage rights. That includes the push to add terms to the province's Human Rights Code to ensure undeniable protection for the transgender community. It also aims to send a message to those in countries less accepting. There's seven countries in the world that currently have a death, um, a death sentence for being gay. Regardless of sexual preference, weddings are weddings, a way of uniting. We are fiancés! And with the big day just a couple of weeks away for these two, there's pressure to make it just as special as their engagement. We kind of got to have a big wedding now to kind of go in suit with that. Steve Silva, Global News.